Well, hey guys, my name is Rylan Russell. Welcome to the channel if you're new and maybe you just clicked on this video because you're curious how much I've made in the last 30 days since I've become monetized here on YouTube. Welcome. Uh, my channel is all about kind of documenting my journey as a worship and media arts pastor here in Owasso, Oklahoma, and just sharing tips and tricks, advice, gear reviews, things like that, that could help other people out that are doing the same thing I'm doing in churches all around the globe, honestly. So if that sounds interesting to you to kind of peek behind the curtain, see behind the scenes a little bit, then stick around. All right, so back in 2019, I decided to upload a video to our church's YouTube channel covering our complete broadcast setup. And so that video, since I'm uploading it, has gotten 110,000 views. So whenever COVID hit and every church in America had to move to online streaming only, uh, our church had been doing that for years. And that video at that point decided to, like YouTube promoted it and it got all this traction. Now our church's channel is not monetized or anything like that, but it just kind of put this thought in my brain, you know, as I've seen other people kind of doing this as well, you know, is there space on YouTube for me to share some of this stuff and kind of make it my own? And so I decided in January of this year, 2021, to kind of start taking YouTube more seriously. So let's dive into the back end and kind of see my journey to get to a thousand subscribers and now in the last 30 days, how much money I've made. Okay, so here we are in my YouTube dashboard, the Creator Studio. So let's kind of look here and see. I began creating content in January of this year and I have made, I think 66 videos now. And I did not get monetized until I'd made about 55 videos. And so that's a lot of hours, a lot of work, and uh, a lot of time that, you know, you're doing it for free, really. And so uh, I will share a couple of other income streams that I have created through this online platform. But, you know, my son, he wants to be a YouTuber as well. And I know so many other kids out there want to as well. And I want to share this to just kind of show them that yes, you can build an audience and you can make some money, but YouTube ad revenue is probably not going to pay the bills. So let's look at my analytics here. All right, if we go into my analytics tab and we go over to my revenue, we're gonna change this to li life lifetime, honestly, because I've only been uh, monetized since August 16th, and you can see right here that I've made $68.59. $68.59. So I've made 11 videos in the last 30 days. That's a lot of videos. I mean, that's, that's almost three a week. And um, these videos that I'm making are not like just me sitting here talking to the camera. It's a lot of editing. It's a lot of uh, gear testing, reviewing, that kind of stuff. And I would estimate that I probably put in about four hours for every video that I make for my YouTube channel. And so if we look at my content here on my channel, I've actually got one video that I uploaded 12 years ago that's got 100,000 views. That's not making me any money though. Uh, I've got an 8,000 view, almost 8,000 view, 5,000 views, 4,000 views. And so if we go in here and look at the analytics of this video, you're gonna see that 8,000 views doesn't get you very much, $4.49. So again, since becoming monetized, I've made $68.59. And about $20 of that has come from Super Chats actually through my live streams. And so you really have to get a, just a ton of views to really make any money on YouTube. And so YouTube for me is really not about making a bunch of passive income. I mean, eventually maybe it does turn into something a little bit more, but right now I think I averaged it out and that's getting me about $3 for every hour that I spend producing content for YouTube, which is not gonna cut it, right? But my end goal with YouTube is to really hopefully funnel people that are becoming a, a fan of my content into other things. Maybe that's a Patreon, maybe that's a YouTube membership, maybe that's online courses that I might create. But right now, that's where we sit with YouTube after 30 days. So. The second way that I have made money, which I've been making money for about mm, three months, is through the Amazon Associates program. And so let's look at my Amazon Associates and see how much money I've made on there in the last 30 days. 
All right, so here we are in my Amazon Associates backend, and you can see that in the last 30 days, since August 16th, I've made $100. And I've made that by referring people with links. But I have been making money through the Amazon Associates program by putting you know links, affiliate links, in my YouTube videos for months now. So let's see how much I've made lifetime on there. If we switch to seeing the whole quarter, which is basically what I've been verified for i've made 255 dollars on the amazon associates program still not much so but that actually is passive income and so that's why I, I like referring people to products that i actually use and like because if they just buy it through the link then uh you know i get like three percent of those sales um so that's the second way that I've made money. The third way that YouTube has created an income stream for me is through online coaching. And so I'll do Zoom calls with people that click on a link on my YouTube videos and uh, I do $30 for 30 minutes on a Zoom call. And let's look at that back end. All right, so here we are on the back end of my Jimmy profile. And it's just a service that people can use for coaching and answering questions and charging people a fee. So in the last 30 days, I have made $90 doing coaching calls with people and answering questions just via chatting online. So it's not much, but if we look lifetime at how much I've made through Jimmy, I've made $400 in about the last year of doing this. Still not a whole lot of money. So for a channel like mine, I've got 1300 subscribers. I've been monetized for 30 days this last month. I have made a grand total of $266. So that's how much I've made creating 66 videos, which probably took me about 240 hours this year online made me. Um, the grand total this year that I've made, if you include all the Amazon associates, my full coaching stuff is about $731. Um, but like I said, this is not a, a big cash cow right now. I'm trying to think in a five, 10 year down the road kind of plan. Uh, how can I create something? How can I create a community of guys and gals that uh, love what I'm putting out, that want to come alongside me? Hopefully what I can do is create uh, a brand for myself that people trust and that as I continue to put out stuff that um, it helps people and encourages people that are doing the same thing I'm doing, you know, worship and media arts pastors out there. Now I have seen the benefit of creating this kind of online brand because it has given me referrals for other jobs. I, I have a side hustle videography uh, company that I run that really is, is a great side hustle. I've made thousands of dollars doing that over the years. And uh, this has pointed me into doing some consulting for other churches. So uh, I recently got paid $70 an hour over a couple different days to go and just consult with a church and talk to them about how they can, you know, make their mini media ministry better and do some camera upgrades and things like that. Uh, referrals for videography jo jobs. I even did a recent install job. Those are things though that aren't passive income. And I am trying to move towards, and like if you're watching this video, you probably understand things that will make me money without me having to go in and produce a product or do a service over and over to help someone else build their brand. But instead, I'm able to help multiple people by doing one thing. And I think that's what my biggest lesson takeaway and the reason I keep pushing forward with this stuff is that I get messages and, and emails from guys in England and South Africa and, and the Philippines saying, I've watched every one of your videos and you're helping my ministry so much, you know? And those are the kinds of things that it makes me realize the impact that I can have is so much greater than what it is just here in my local community. Now, the impact I can have on people's lives right here in my church is probably vastly greater, but the impact I can have on ministries and how they do things and maybe how they save money, you know, and be good stewards and, and increase their technology, uh, that can be so more far reaching just by using the internet through putting videos on YouTube. So I'm gonna keep doing it. We'll see where it goes. Um, hopefully if you were kind of curious about, you know, what it's like to be monetized for 30 days, uh, I'm a very small channel. So, you know, there's probably other people out there that are making lots more money than me um, and that's okay. 
So I'm just having a fun time doing it. And like I said, documenting the journey. I've been doing this for many years now, came back from a sabbatical of two months after being here for 10 years and realized I need to start documenting the journey more. And so that's what I'm doing. And I always end my videos by saying, we can do a lot of great things, but we need to do them all for the right reasons. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you like this kind of stuff, if you're interested, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.